scientists seriously warn. Yellowstone Volcanic Eruption Nature will watch you dead as Yellowstone releases hellish magma. Yellowstone Volcano is a powerful and deadly force to be reckoned with and is proof of nature's dark side, a leading scientist has warned. Yellowstone National Park is home to one of the deadliest and largest supervolcanoes on the planet's surface. The last major eruptions of the Yellowstone Volcano occurred 640,000, 1.2 million, and 2 million years ago, respectively. But the supervolcano system is far from dormant and scientists monitoring Yellowstone predict another eruption will occur in the future. And looking at Yellowstone's equally beautiful and terrifying landscape, one scientist is warning people of this danger. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, known for presenting the science series Cosmos, shared online a photo of Yellowstone National Park, showing one of the areas of the park that is inhospitable to life. The photo shows a collection of dead and barren trees on a dry plain, with no plants or green flora. According to Dr. Tyson, photos of the Yellowstone volcano are proof that nature is not always the nurturing and supportive force it is believed to be. The physicist wrote, The beauty of Yellowstone Park, atop a dormant supervolcano. Remember that not all of our planet is a paradise for life. In many parts of the Earth's surface, Mother Nature will soon see you dead. However, deadly Yellowstone is and whether it is truly a destructive force biding its time under the United States, USGS, a future Yellowstone super eruption would be catastrophic on a regional and global scale. In the short term, a Yellowstone eruption would spew enormous amounts of ash and volcanic material across the U.S. This, in turn, will have a major impact on global climate patterns for years and even decades to come. The USGS said, the surrounding states of Montana, Idaho and Wyoming will be impacted, as well as other places in the United States and the world. Such eruptions usually form calderas, vast volcanic depressions created when the surface of the land collapses due to the release of some of the molten rock, magma, beneath it. Fortunately, the likelihood of such an eruption occurring at Yellowstone is very small in the next few thousand years. Yellowstone's volcanoes are continuously monitored by the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory Branch. YVO is closely monitoring the volcano for signs of activity, both volcanic, hydrothermal and seismic, throughout the national park. One of the biggest indicators of activity in Yellowstone is ground deformation which can be an indicator of molten rock entering Yellowstone's magma chamber. The USGS said, Normal activity at Yellowstone includes extensive seismicity, periods of caldera uplift and subsidence, and periodic changes to surface hydrothermal features. There are usually more than a thousand earthquakes per year in Yellowstone. About 40% of earthquakes each year are associated with swarms. The park's beautiful hydrothermal features, geysers, hot springs, mud pots, etc., land uplift and subsidence, and many earthquakes are caused by the movement of hydrothermal and or magmatic fluids. Hydrothermal fluids are produced and managed by partially molten magma chambers beneath the national park. In other Yellowstone Volcano news, a documentary reveals the terrifying threat of planes suddenly diving over the volcano during an eruption. Michael Rampino, a professor at New York University, revealed in the BBC documentary Supervolcano how planes had to avoid the Yellowstone ash plume. He said, ash can get into jet engines and coat them. 
There were dire predictions of the plane losing power and diving as the pilot tried to figure out how to control the plane.